Okay, good evening. Today's daf is daf Lam and Aleph. We are going to begin. The, ta- the line starts with Hiktim, Tana Tana Kamei De Reb Nachman. So the Gemara Tana Tana Kamei De Reb Nachman Tana taught the Bryce before Reb Nachman. It's much of the Mitzvah as obvious. Imak of the Amrak of the Shparuch Yofa Sisu Shalidati Binim. When a person causes his father and mother suffering, the Eibushter says, uh, "I did not dwell." He says, "I did well that I did not dwell amongst them." If I would dwell amongst them, then they, they would have uh, caused me suffering. A person who transgresses an Avera privately. says he's pushing away the feet of the Shekhinah. In other words, he distanced himself from the Ebershter, so to speak. So to speak. As it says, like it says, so says Hashem, the heaven is my throne. And the earth is my footstool. When someone sins in secret, he basically demonstrates that he thinks Hashem is absent from that place, and it's as though he pushes Hashem away from the earth. Amrei Yeshua ben Levi says, "Us lo demshalach arba ames became a skufa. A person is not allowed to walk for ames with an upright posture, which is like a type of arrogance." Shneimer like it says, "Mleichal arz kavedei." The entire world is full of Hashem. When a person walks arrogantly. He indicates that he has lack of, of, of Hashem who's surrounding the entire world. Rabbi Yeshua would not walk for Amas without a yamaka. Omar, he said, Shekhinah Lamayla Midrash, Shekhinah is above me. Shol ben Ammon Achas, he said, Rabbi Eliezer, the son of one widow, asked Rabbi Eliezer, If my father says, Give me water to drink, and my mother also says, Give me water to drink. Ezem em kaidem. Who goes first? Amr lay. So Rabbi Lezer said, He said, set aside the honor of your mother and perform the honor of your father. Because you and your mother are obligated in the honor of your father. Rabbi Shua, Rabbi Shua, he came in front of Rabbi Shua and asked the same shayla. And Amr lay, he answered the same question. Amr lay, so the man said to him, Rabbi, my teacher in his gar shema, what if my mother is divorced? What's the halacha? Amr lay, Rabbi Shua said to him, from the eyelashes, in other words, you have so many tears, it's evident that you are the son of a widow. Pour water from a pitcher um, and put them before the chickens. In other words, if one's mother is divorced, it's the same honor due to both parents, and neither takes precedence. Darash Ula interpreted Darash Ula Rabba Apisre Ben Nesia Rabba Ula the Great interpreted this verse at the entrance of the house of the Nasi. What does it mean? All the kings of the earth shall give you thanks, O Hashem, that they have heard the, ma- the word of my mouth. Does not say the word of your mouth. It doesn't say in singular. Rather, it says the words of your mouth. Now, what happened was, is when the Ebershter said that uh, I am Hashem Yashem, shall know other gods before me, the nations of the world said, he teaches this for his own honor. Once they heard that Hashem says, honor your father and your mother, they returned and conceded to the first statements that the Ebershter, that, uh, that, um, that uh, everything is, is, for the, is, is the Ebershter is not saying just the Rav Amar Rav says, "Me'achad says, Reish Tzvarach Emes." The Torah says, "The beginning of your word." The the Tilim says, "The beginning of your word is truth." So, Fred the Gemara Reish Tzvarach, "Olay Seif Tzvarach," is the beginning of your word truth, but not the end of the word. Alam Seif Tzvarach Nikar Shereif Tzvarach Emes. Rather, from the end of your word is apparent to everyone that the beginning of your word is truth. Boy, minei Merav Ula. Boy, you minei Merav Ula. They asked the Shaila from Rav Ula, "Atayich and keep it up aim." How, must, how far must a person go to fulfill the honoring of his mother and father? Amalem, he said, Tzudu, Ma'os, Anochi, Echad, Bachelet, famous story we all tell our kids. So he said, go and see one of the Goyim in Ashkelon, V'dama ben Nesina Shmai. And his name is Dama ben Nesina. Pamach has big shachachom, Pramach liyo b'shishim li v'sohar. Once the Chacham sought to purchase merchandise from him for 600,000 gold dinners profit. V'hayim afteach munach tachas merei sheisav shal aviv. And the key for the container in which the merchandise was kept was placed under the father's head, and he was sleeping at that time. Laitzira and Dumb Benesina did not want to disturb his father by waking him up, although he, they could have made a very substantial profit. Amr Yudah Mershumul he says, Shalos Rabbi Eliezer. They asked Rabbi Eliezer, "Ad heichen kibud avaim? How far must a person go for kibud avaim?" Amr Lehem he said to them, "Tzuru ma'aseh nochi echad avib bashlein go and see 
what a guy in Ashkelon did. We don't mention the name was Dovin Nesina. Pikshu mina chacham Avram Leifer b'shishim di v'sachar. The chachamim wanted the stones from the aphids for the kohen gadol for six hundred thousand gold dinars profit. Rav Kana master b'shmenim riva and Rav Kana taught that it was eight hundred thousand. It was millions and millions of dollars. We have tech minav tachas minav sheis of shal aviv and the key of the chest holding the jewels was placed under the father's head. Leitzira and he would not disturb him. The next year, the Ebrister gave Dom ben Asina his reward. The Paraduma was born in his, in his, uh, in his uh, land. And the Yidin needed it. The Chacham came to him. He said to them, He said that if I'm going to ask for all the money in the world, I know you're going to give it to me. All I want is the money that I could have made due to the loss of honoring the father. Rebchanina said, Ma umami shen If somebody who's not commanded to honor his mother, his father, like Dom ben Asina was a guy, and uh, and he got this schar, mitzuve is alachas kam v'kam. How much more so is the schar for somebody who's rewarded to honor his father and mother? How much more so will he get? As the famous saying of Chinina says, greater is the one who's commanded to do so and perform it then, the one who's commanded to do a mitzvah and not perform it. Not perform it. says, In the beginning, I would say that he said that whoever said, in accordance with the opinion of Rabbi Yehuda, who says that a blind person is exempt from mitzvahs, I would make a yamta for chachamim. Why? Why? Because I am not commanded, and yet I perform the mitzvahs. Now that I heard what Rabbi Chanina said, that uh, the person who's great, the one who performs, is greater than the one. The mitzvahs is greater than the sheni mitzvahs. And now he says, on the contrary, so somebody is going to say that the Allah is not according to the opinion of Rabbi Yehuda, and a blind person is obligated to mitzvahs, I would make a festive meal for the Chacham. Yosef of Dimi Yomar, and Dimi came from Eretz Yisrael to Babel, he said, if I'm not going to love his circle and shows of, once Dabba Menesina was wearing a fine cloak of gold, but Yeshu bin Dili Remi, and he was sitting amongst the noble people of Rome, and his mother came and tore his garments, and smacked him on the head, and spit at him. And he was not embarrassed. There are there are type of there's a type of son who feeds his father his pisiani, and yet his behavior causes him to be removed from elam habo. And there are those who make him grind with a millstone, which is a very difficult word. And they bring him to lechayelam habo. He says, one such as Avimi, my son, properly fulfilled the mitzvah of honoring his parents. Chamshi Avimi Bichai Oviv. Avimi had five sons during his life, his father's lifetime, who had smicha. And And yet, when Rabavo, his father came and, and called the gate to enter, Avimi would himself run and open the door. And before he arrived, he would already say, yes, yes, so that his father would not think that he was being ignored. One day, Rabbi said to Avimi, his son, Ashkemai, give me water, give me to drink. Before he brought it, the water, Rabbi Abo dozed off. He stood over him until he, his father woke up. And because he has such kibbutz of aim, he was married into no pshat of Mizmer Lasif. He said to his father, again, I know, with regard to someone like myself, so, that, so I so I beloved by my parents that, he said, before I return from the base medrash, my father were, brings me a cup and my mother pours for me. How should I act? Is it disrespectful to accept the honor from them? So he said, except from your mother, but from your father, do not accept. Even the Bartheta, who since he's a Bartheta, Chol Shadite, he will be disheartened if his son does not show him the proper level of respect. Artarfin had a leyahu ima the cholim must have a boy is the mesek the purko the puri agachin is okli. Artarfin had a certain manner of treating his mother that whenever she wished to ascend into her bed, he would bend over and help her ascend. Cholim must have a nachis, and whenever she wished to descend from the bed, nechtas uluye she would descend onto him. Also, if it comes to having a midrasha, he came and praised himself. In the base medrash and performing the mitzvahs of honoring his mother and father. You have still not reached, they said to him, you have still not reached even half of the honor due to her. Why? 
Did she ever throw a purse into the sea in front of you and, 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 and uh, you did not embarrass her? When you hear the mother's footsteps, Amr, he said, I will stand before the arriving of the Shekhinah. Fortune is the person who does not have a father and mother because it's very hard, difficult to um, honor a mother and father properly. Rabbi Yechanan himself, he never saw his parents. When his mother was pregnant with him, his mother died. And Yilad said, when he was born, his mother died. Many times in Shas, you find that Abaya says, my mother told me so. This was actually his foster mother, not his birth mother. She said to him, I want jewelry. So what happened? Abba he made her jewelry. But in a he said, I want to get married. I need a man. So he said, let me seek one for you. But in a the shaper kavasich. So she said, I want a husband as handsome as you. And he realized that the mother was his mother was senile. So shav kavazal ayardi yisrael. He left and went to Eretz Yisrael. Shav the kavazal abasrei. He heard that she was following him to Eretz Yisrael. Also the kamei the rebichanan. He came in front of rebichanan. Amar le he said, Ma alot zis Eretz Yisrael lechutzlars. Can I go from Eretz Yisrael to chutzlars? Amar le also you're not allowed. So he said, Likras imoi. Ma what about? Uh, if one is going to greet his mother, what's that? He said, any day, I don't know. He taught a porta. He waited a little while, and then Hadar uh, Asi came back to him. He said, he said, Asi, you are, you wanted, you're determined to leave. May Hashem return you in peace. And he said, no more. So he came in front of Rabbi Lazar. Rabbi came in front of Rabbi Lazar. He said to him, He said that he's angry. He said that he's angry. To me, that I want to leave Eretz Yisrael. Amalei said, "Man, Amalei, what did he say to you?" Amalei said, "I'm mocking Yachzir Echad Shalom." He said, "May Hashem return you in peace." Amalei said to him, "Be Mishtar Ratach." If he was angry, he have him Mivarech Loi. He would never bless you. Adachiv Vachiv Shama Laareni Tekasi. Meanwhile, he heard that the coffin of his mother was coming. His mother had died, and her coffin was being brought to Eretz Yisrael. Amalei said, "Yadina Lenafke." Had I known, I would have not have left. As his, as after his mother's death, he's not. He was not obligated to leave Eretz Yisrael to honor her. Tanar Rabbanu Lelan Abrayis Mechab Dei Bechayov. One honors his father in his life, and and honors him in his death. How does a person honor his father when he's alive? When a person <coughs> goes to a place on the commandment of his father, he should not say, Send me on my journey on my own behalf. Rather, or hurry me up on my behalf. Allow me to take leave of the business on my own behalf. But rather, he should say, all the above in the following manner. Act in this manner on the father's behalf as a mark of respect for his father. But may see case how does he honor him in his death? If he says a matter he heard from the father's mouth, he shouldn't say, so my father said, rather he should say, my father uh, said, atonement of his resting soul. And this is that it applies only 12 months of the death. Afterwards, you should say, You should say, May his memory be a blessing for the life of the world to come. We learn Chochem, a Chochem who lectures in public, must change the name of his father. In other words, when he quotes his father, he should not mention by name. Turgumon, and similarly, Bishim Rabbi. Turgumon, Turgumon also, in Mishan, Lishim Abu, Lishim Abai, of Rabbi, also, Turgumon should not change, should not should change. Who explains the statement that the Chachamim changes neither the name of his father nor the name of his teacher? Frankly, Mara Avu Daman, whose father? Ile Mada Avu the Maturgaman. If you're going to say it's the, the father of the Maturgaman, Atu Turgaman Labar Chiyuvu, is the Maturgaman not Machuyev to honor his father? But the Marav rather says Shem Aviv Shel Chacham. This is the name of the Chacham, Shem Rabbi Shel Chacham, and the name of the Chacham's teacher. Yehoda Mar Bar Avashi Kevarish the Pirka, like when Mar Bar Avashi, as when he would teach Tera at a regular lecture, Yo Amar, he would say Abba Mari. My father, my my father, um, and my teacher. So he would say, my teacher, my father, my teacher, um, and the maturgamon would say so and so of Asha. Although a son may not mention his father's name, the maturgamon of the lecture may do so. Tanah we learned Ezu Meida Ezu Kibe. What is fear and what is honor? Meida. What does it mean to uh, fear a person's father? Leyamad bimkemi should not stand in his place. Leyishu bimkemi should not sit in his place. Leyishu says the bottom should not contradict his statement. He should not contradict what he says. And also, he should not choose sides when his father argues with someone else. He would, what does it mean to, uh, to be mechabed? Michael Mashke, he gives his father food and drink. Malbush Machasa dresses and covers him. 
Machlis Omeitzi brings him and takes him out of all of the first household goods. Have a wonderful night.